Hey guys, welcome to Guns and Guitars. In this video, what we're going to do is use three different guns the Ruger LCP, the Keltec PF9, and the Glock 19. Um, what I'm going to review is how does the Ruger ARX round stand up to some of the other um, types of ammunition as far as recoil and muzzle flip. And um, with the guns that I've shown you, um, the Keltec PF9 and the Ruger LCP muzzle flip is a really big issue so we're going to take a look at how those rounds work and what the differences are with those with those guns especially with the Glock generally um, I haven't really noticed anything other than it's just a pleasure to shoot it's just um, a much heavier gun and larger gun than the other two the other two are much more reasonable guns for concealed carry in the Ruger LCP, which is brand new to me, I just bought this a couple days ago, and well, actually yesterday. And what I'm going to do is um, start trying to make sure it's broken in a little bit using the Remington UMC um, kind of um, range ammo, basically. And um, let me see what this is. I think it's a 95 grain round, and um, on the Ruger ARX. That is, as you can see, a 56 grain round. It's supposed to travel at 1,315 feet per second. I think in the smaller barrel, the Ruger, it's a little bit slower than that. But we'll see how the ammo um, reacts as far as muzzle flip and um, kick on the gun. Let me turn this other ammo around for you. And there you can see it is 95 grain. And here is the Remington UMC ball round. It's a 95 grains. That's on the right. And here's the Ruger ARX 56 grain round on the left. Here's a comparison of the 9mm rounds that um, we're mostly interested in. The one on the left is the Federal 115 grain high shock um, jacketed hollow point. The one in the middle is one of my favorite rounds, which is the Spear Gold Dot 124 grain plus P. And then the newest kit on the block here is the Ruger ARX, and um, that's also a plus P round. Here's another view of them. And here's a view of the primers. Alright, and here's the business end of each of these rounds. Get the focus. Again, the spear gold dot's in the middle. You can see that hollow point, and then obviously the ARX. There's um, flutes, basically. I'm not really sure what those are called, but they um, seem to show on, on some of the videos online, you see um, a lot of real good devastation, the, you know, certainly looks equal to the um, spear gold dot on um, what it does to uh, ballistic gelatin, I'm not sure if there's any street credibility yet on these, um, as in, has anybody used them in a self-defense situation or in a police situation, but um, they certainly look promising. Okay, without further delay, let's get on down to the range and do some shooting. Alright, these are going to be the first shots through my new Ruger LCP. I'm shooting some Remington 95 grain ball ammo first. I'm going to try and get through a box of 50 so I can kind of break it in a little bit. And then after that I'm going to try out this new Ruger ARX uh, 56 grain polymer copper blend bullet. Alright, here are the first shots. Cycle those fine and uh, 
I'm going to go through the box and I have to watch the rest of this. Now I'm going to try a magazine of 6 plus 1 on the ARX ammo just to see if it cycles reliably. Alright, these are the first shots on the ARX. I'm going to go for center of target. And I'm shooting at 5 yards. So how far you just work, 7 and a half? Alright, what I'm going to do next is I've got a mixed magazine. I've got two rounds of the 95 grain Remington ball ammo, and then um, the rest of the magazine is loaded with the ARX 56 grain, and the first round that I'm going to shoot is an ARX 56 grain. And I'm doing this to just test the difference in uh, muzzle flip and uh, the kick. Again, the um, ARX is just really an excellent ammo, I think, for a little gun like this. Um, it's made by Ruger, and I'm shooting it out of a Ruger that may have something to do with it, but it's really, really good. I'm going to try it out now in the 9 millimeters. Alright, these are what I'm going to shoot first, and the, the first round out of the gun is going to be the 124 grain. Um, <laughs> Plus P, then the 115 grain high shock, and it's 115 grain ball, and then the ARX. This is two rounds of each out of the Glock 19. The ARX plus P and the Spear Gold Dot plus P both feel the same to me. I mean, they both, you're not, it's a Glock, so it doesn't like kill you or anything, but it definitely has a little extra punch. And then the 115 grainers both felt the same. So I think it's, you know, a matter of how much powder's in the case and how, you know, what the weight of the bullet is. But um, the ARX bullet is about, two-thirds the weight of the 124 grain spear gold dot but it 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 really does feel about the exact same to me um, very very flat shooting um, excellent um, for aiming round I mean I just I think it's just fantastic for that it was like that in the Ruger and it's like that in the Glock alright this time I'm gonna aim for the seven just below the head on the target and I'm gonna try and hold it six o'clock since it's a Glock these are ARX rounds. I 
Like I said, they're pretty flat shooting. That's probably a two inch group right there. Pretty fast shooting and um, um, pretty much offhand. Okay, in conclusion, I don't think you can go wrong with the new Ruger ARX um, rounds. They're just, they, they really are fantastic as far as accuracy goes. They just shoot just flat and as straight as any pistol bullet I've ever fired before, and I've been shooting for almost 50 years. Um, they're just, they're, they're really, really that good. Um, as far as kick and muzzle flip, I really didn't, I couldn't tell any difference whatsoever between those because they are plus P and the Spear Gold Dot 124 grain um, plus P rounds. I mean, they, they felt exactly the same to me. Um, so they are a pretty stout round, but I think, um, you know, if you haven't stocked up on your other favorite round, HSTs or, um, you know, Remington Golden Saber, Spear Gold Dots, whatever it is, um, Hornady Critical Defense or Critical Duty. Um, you might want to try the Ruger ARX round as far as accuracy goes. It, I think it, it has pretty much everything else I've shot beat. Uh, you know, any, anything else, I'm guessing they're pretty much just on par with those other rounds. They're, you know, they're all pretty fantastic rounds, so um, I hope that helps on the 9mm. On um, 380, they were the Ruger ARX. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with 380. Um, these are, I, you know, shot some Aguila and um, Remington, and then these Ruger ARXs. And um, the ball rounds are definitely snappier. They're, but they, you know, they weigh 95 grains. These are almost half at 56 grains. So there's just a, a slighter softness to the muzzle flip and, and the kick. The kick, you know, on a 380 just isn't really that bad. But on a tiny little light gun like the um, Ruger LCP, um, having ammunition that, you know, is just a little bit softer does seem to help. As um, far as accuracy goes, wow. I mean, they're just, they're just fantastic. So I really highly recommend those. If you haven't bought your self-defense ammo yet, I, I would go with the Ruger ARX, definitely. All right, guys, I hope this helped, and um, if you like the video, either give it a thumbs up or subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps my channel. Thanks.